Well, last week, a government scientist indicated that uh, heat and humidity could affect or have an impact on the coronavirus. Some health, health experts agree that monitoring this is a key uh, inside your home, but why? Our why guy explains. If you're thrifty, you don't think twice about checking the thermostat to monitor the temperature in your home. It's a lot less common to find someone who monitors their home's humidity. Research indicates there's a connection between the humidity inside our homes and our health. So in this time when we're hyper-focused on avoiding illness, let's explore why. Dr. Jeff Gusky, an ER doctor from Texas, is a major proponent of avoiding low humidity or dry air inside your home. I believe that moist air reduces the risk of surface viruses in your home. There is medical research that shows the flu virus spreads easier when the humidity is low and the air inside your home is dry. Air that is moist, according to the research, weighs on the flu virus, making movement difficult. In higher humidities, the virus tends to drop out of the air quicker. The more moisture, it may be better for your body's ability to fight off viruses as well. Scientists with Homeland Security point to preliminary research indicating humidity may have similar effects on the coronavirus. The National Institute of Health is currently studying the environment's impact on COVID-19. Medical experts seem to agree that keeping the humidity in your home right around 50% could be good for your health. Not too dry and not too moist. Allowing the humidity to get too high can lead to harmful bacteria and mold. Simple humidifiers cost next to nothing. There are humidifiers that keep the air in your home from getting too dry and devices that can help you monitor your home's humidity.